All right, hello everyone. Welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel. I'm in Cappadocia, Turkey. Um, that is kind of the name of the region. I'm actually in Gorim, which is a small village we're staying in. Uh, most mornings, weather dependent, uh, this place is known for their hot air balloons, which you can see kind of all around me. On our first morning here, we actually got to go in one. Uh, was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Actually, not as scary as I thought, even though I'm a little weary with heights. Uh, it's really, really cold outside. It's negative six degrees Celsius, which is about 21 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am braving the cold this morning for this view specifically. Uh, like I said, it's weather dependent. So the last two mornings, uh, it's been too windy and it was rainy, so they weren't able to fly. So I have to take this opportunity to share this beautiful view with you. And due to the cold, it's gonna be more of an express flow. So trying to keep it around like 30 minutes today. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and start to build some heat. Find a kneeling position. Tops of the feet down, roll the shoulders back and down, stack one vertebrae on top of the other. Find your breath. Make your intention for today's practice, whatever you need more of. Abundance, strength, for me that was gonna be warmth. Take a nice full breath in, fill up all the way. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. One more, just like that. Let's bring the hands onto the knees. Lean yourself a little bit forward. As you inhale, really arch your back, pull your chest forward, bring your gaze up. As you exhale, drag your chin into your chest, round your spine, look towards your belly button. Inhale, pull your chest forward, your shoulders back. You can feel your tailbone lift up a little. And exhale, squeezing your belly, rounding. Two more. Come back to a neutral spine. Widen your knees a little bit. So they're about hips distance. Widen your feet a little bit. Bring your arms down by your side. As you inhale, sweep both arms up as you lift your hips. Send the hips forward. Lean back a little. Exhale, bring your seat back to your heels. Sweep your right arm back. Look back towards your right thumb. A nice gentle twist. Inhale, Inhale. reach both arms up as you send your hips forward. Gaze up. Exhale, sit your hips back, reach your left arm back, and look towards your left thumb. One more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, hips up, arms up. Exhale, left arm back, twist. Inhale, reach both arms up, send your hips up. Exhale, plant your hands on your mat. We're going to take three rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, pull your chest forward. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale. See if you can lengthen your movements, lengthen your breath. Last round. Next, inhale, tuck your toes. Start to hover your knees up off the mat. Try to stack your shoulders over your wrists. Imagine you're squeezing a yoga block between your knees so the inner thighs are engaged. Great, from here we're gonna tap right heel, right glute. Bring it back to the mat. Left heel towards your left glute. 
back to the mat. So you'll probably find, at least my heels don't actually touch my seat, but you're bringing it up off the mat. Try to keep even weight in your hands so you're not shifting side to side too much. Squeeze the hamstrings. And be here for three, two, one. Go ahead and bring your hips all the way up. Find your first downward facing dog, pedaling out the legs, pressing firmly into your palms. Rock the hips side to side if you need. Feet should be hips distance, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. Breathe length into the sides of the body. Let's slowly drop down onto the forearms, find dolphin pose. Try to bring the shoulders out from the ears. Try to create more space between the mat and your head. So you're really pressing down the arms. See if you can tiptoe your feet a little bit closer towards your elbows. The goal is to stack the hips over the shoulders. Draw the belly in. Think of the outer hips lifting up towards the sky. Your gaze is back between your feet so as to not cringe your neck. Great. Now use your tricep strength to press yourself back up into downward facing dog, walking the feet back if you adjusted your length. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step up to your right thumb. Keep your left hand on the mat. Use the inhale, right arm, send it high. Nice gentle twist here. Great. We're going to walk the hands all the way over the left side of the mat to a side lunge. Right hand down. So all ten toes are facing the long edge of your mat. Your right leg is straight, deep bend in the left knee. Shoot your left arm high. This is a nice stretch for the right inner thigh. Gentle twist in the spine. Full breath in. As you breathe out, wide-legged fold. You can either bring your hands to the mat, catch the outer blades of your feet, or clasp your hands behind your back. Lift the sitting bones up, firm down the outer blades of your feet, breathing length into the hamstrings. Prop your fingertips onto the mat. Use the inhale, lift up halfway. Turn your left toes to face the back of your mat. Bring your left hand either to the mat. If you're not ready for that, left elbow onto the knee, stretch your right arm up. So we're in a nice side angle pose, nice and gentle to start. Reach the right arm overhead, palm face down. Really think of pressing down the outer blade of your right foot. Use an inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm, reach it high. Great. As you exhale, frame your left foot at the back of your mat. Step your right foot to meet your left in a forward fold. Use an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, maybe catching your ankles. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms up overhead. Press the palms together. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, reach the arms all the way out and up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, step back first with your right foot, then with your left foot. This is our first chaturanga, option to drop your knees. Inhale for upward dog, and exhale for downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. As you exhale, step up to your left thumb. Keep your right hand on the mat. Use the inhale. Open up for a twist. All right, we're going to walk the hands all the way to the right. Straightening your left leg. Plant your left hand. Reach your right arm high. So this is now a nice twist for the left inner thigh. Maybe shifting your gaze up to your right thumb. And exhale for your wide-legged forward fold. Think of the crown of the head melting towards the mat, lengthening your spine, so the tailbone up, 
crown of the head down. Inhale, prop up halfway. Turn your right toes to face the top of your mat. Bring your right elbow onto your knee or your hand to your mat. Reach your left arm up and then overhead. Think of firming down the outer blade of your left foot. You should feel a gentle opening in that right inner thigh. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in your knee. Bring your gaze up. Stretch the right side of your body. As you exhale, frame your right foot. Step your left foot to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, maybe catching your ankles. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge, fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Breath out, hands to mat. Step back, left foot, right foot. Chaturanga. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's add on to that a bit. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, step up to your right thumb. Keep your left hand down. Use an inhale, reach your right arm up nice and high, twist. Exhale for our side lunge to the back. So right hand down, left arm high. As you exhale, wide legged fold. Turn the left toes to face the back, left hand down, inhale, side angle, exhale here. Inhale, come all the way up, reverse warrior. Exhale, we're going for a half moon. Look in front of your left foot, left fingertips to the mat, right leg lifted up. Great, from here, we're gonna hug the right knee into the chest, Rise all the way to stand. Hug the right knee in. Now wrap your right leg up and over your left. Keep the arms up nice and high. So we've got eagle legs here, but we're gonna actually take cow face arms. So the right arm's gonna stay up, right hand to the middle of your upper back, left hand wraps underneath. Now, if you've got the grip, great. If not, you can use a towel, you can use your shirt or your sports bra as a prop. Try to hug the lower ribs in. Think of drawing the tailbone down, pressing the head into the right arm. Breathe into the chest. Now see if you can keep your arms, unwind your legs, shoot your right leg back. Flex your right foot so the toes point down. Now if you need, you can release your arms, of course. Now we're gonna take a decent sized step back. The right toes are turned out at 45 degrees. Keeping the arms, hinge yourself forward so it's like pyramid pose with the legs, but you need to engage the legs in the core as your arms are occupied and not bearing any weight. If it's too much, fingertips to the mat. Three, two. Let's bring the right hand down onto the mat, in or outside your left foot. Sweep your left arm high, revolve triangle. Think of pressing the right hip forward, tugging the left hip back. Open your chest to the left. Great, we're gonna bring bro both hands to the mat. Turn your right toes to point forward and start to walk your hands back towards your right foot, shooting your left leg high up in the air, standing split. Forehead towards your right shin. Squeeze your belly. Great, step your left foot to meet your right, but your feet are hips distance. Bend your knees for a chair variation. So feet are hips distance. Biceps are up by the ears. Sink your hips a little bit lower. A 
Let's sweep the arms back, come up high onto your toes. Gaze down. Again, imagine that yoga block between your knees. Keep the inner thighs engaged. Now looking in front of you, you're gonna plant your hands onto the mat. So you kinda wanna drive your knees up into your armpits and then plant the palms down. Let's come back to that floating tabletop or bear position. So the knees are off the mat. We did this in the beginning, look between your thumbs. We're gonna tap right hand to left shoulder and then left hand to right shoulder. Right hand, left shoulder, try not to shift your weight too much. Squeezing the inner thighs. Draw the belly in, navel to spine for three, two, one. Drop your knees onto the mat, untuck your toes. Inhale, send your hips all the way up. Reach the arms up, camel. Exhale, sink your seat back, sweep your right arm back. Inhale, reach both arms up, hips forward. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, tabletop. Step your feet back to a high plank and move through your vinyasa. Left side, inhale, send your left leg up and back. Exhale, step up to your left thumb. Keep your right hand down, inhale, stretch the left arm high, easy twist. Exhale, side lunge to the right. So the left hand plants, right arm reach it high. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, half lift, turn your right toes to the front. Come to a side angle, stretch your left arm high. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach your right arm up and back. As you exhale, half moon, right fingertips beyond your right foot. Left leg lift, left arm high. <laughs> You're gonna hug your left knee into your chest as you rise all the way to stand. Left knee in, balancing on your right leg. Wrap your left leg over your right, slide your left toes down your right calf. Now the left arm's gonna stay up, left hand finds the middle of your upper back, right arm wraps underneath. Go for that grip, otherwise using your prop, Hug the lower ribs back in. Try to bring your knees a little over to the left. Three. Tailbone drawing down. Two. One. Keep the arms if you can as you unwind your legs for a warrior three. Shoot the left leg back. Gaze is down. Lift from your left heel. Three, two, one. Take a decent step back with the left foot. Toes are turned out at 45 degrees. Now keeping the arms, use your inner thigh and core strength to hinge your torso forward. So you'll definitely feel this in the right calf, right hamstring. If you need, you can release the arms. Firm down the outer blade of your left foot. Three, two, one. Left hand down, right arm, reach it high. Squeeze the inner thighs. Think of shifting your hips a little bit to the left. If possible, shift your gaze up. Think of the tailbone going back, crown of the head going forward, always lengthening. Three, two, one. Both hands to the mat. Turn your left toes to point directly forward. Walk your hands all the way back to frame your left foot and shoot your right leg up nice and high. Standing split. Forehead towards your right shin. Feel the stretch through the left hamstring. Step your right foot to meet your left. Hips distance, bend your knees a lot. Chair pose.
lengthen the sides, sink the seat a little bit lower, bring the weight to the heels instead of the toes. Now sweep your arms back, lift the heels up. Try to lift the navel up and in. Great. And then resting your belly onto your thighs. Try to drive your armpit or your knees into your armpits as you reach your arms forward. Plant the hands in front of you and find that floating tabletop position. We're going to do some shoulder taps again, trying to keep the hips even the entire time. So right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Back and forth, keeping the gaze down, the neck neutral. We'll be here for four, three, two, one. Step your feet back one at a time to a high plank. Use your exhale lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up and back. Step up to your right thumb. Find a high lunge position. Sweep both arms up. Lengthen your left leg more. Bend deeper into your right knee. As you exhale, sweep your arms back. Hover your chest. Gaze is down towards your right big toe. Higher onto the left toes. As you inhale, stretch your arms forward, left leg lift behind you, warrior three. Lift from your left heel. Inhale, rise, left knee to chest. Again, we're gonna wrap that left leg up and over the right. This time, left arm underneath the right for a full eagle pose, Garudasana. Bring the knees a little to the left, the elbows a little to the right. Think of the tailbone going down, the crown of the head going up. Press your forearms forward. Now crunch your elbows in towards your knees. Unwind the legs. Eagle three. Take a decent sized step back to find warrior one with your legs. Keep the arms. Left hip forward, right hip back. Take a full breath in, curl your torso back. Exhale, drop your torso inside your right leg for a humble eagle. Hug the right knee towards the right shoulder as you press the right shoulder into the knee. Bump your hips a little bit to the left. Steady your breath. Unwind your arms, crawl yourself to the back of your mat where you'll take a deep bend to the left knee, straightening your right leg. Skandasana. If you need, you can take another side lunge here. If you know me, you know I hate the cold. Underneath my mat, we've got a nice layer of frost, so there's no relief. <laughs> All right, from here, we're going to prop it up to a goddess stance. So plant the fingertips, heels in, toes out, lift the torso up, bring your hands to heart center. Now from heart center, we're going to bring the hands to a reverse namaskar behind the back. If that's impossible, you can always grab opposite elbows. Straighten your legs all the way, turn to face the front of your mat. Keep your arms short in your stance. Pyramid pose, hinge over your right leg. Again, reverse namaskar or grabbing opposite elbows. Three. Two. One, release the fingertips to the mat. Step your left foot back a tad. Sweep your right leg all the way up. Three-legged dog and then find a pigeon pose. Right knee right wrist, right ankle towards your left wrist. Now 
you can crawl yourself all the way forward for a more uh, reclined or um, restful pigeon. In order for me to stay a, a little bit warmer, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay up right here. Allow your muscles to soften with each exhale. Slowly start to walk the hands back up under your shoulders, tuck your left toes, step your right leg back, and one vinyasa. We'll take that on the other side, and then stretch it out. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step up to your left thumb. Inhale, find high lunge. 90 degree bend with the left leg. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Imagine your fingertips as an extension of your spine. Try to get your pinkies closer to each other so you're engaging the backside of your body. As you inhale, stretch your arms forward, lift your right leg up behind you, warrior three. Find your breath. Inhale, right knee to chest, and then wrap it over the left. Again, full eagle pose, right arm under the left, hands together. If you've got it, press those forearms forward, now opening up the upper back. The knees come a little to the right, elbows a little to the left. Hug the lower ribs in, three. Sink lower, two. One, elbows to the knees, shoot your right leg back, eagle three. One of my favorite transitions, if you haven't noticed by now. Generous step back with that right foot to a warrior one with the legs. Inhale, curl the torso back. Exhale, drop it down inside your left knee. Trying to get those forearms parallel to the mat. Bump the hips a little bit to the right. Reduce the tension in the jaw, back of the neck. Let's release the hands. Walk them all the way to the right foot. Skandasana or another side lunge. Sinking deep in the hips. Lengthening the spine. Flexing your left foot. Almost there, yogis. Prop your fingertips onto the mat, heels in, toes out. Wiggle your way up to a goddess stance. Tailbone down, crown up, external rotation of the thighs. Now bring your hands behind your back to a prayer pose or grabbing opposite elbows. Think of pressing the pinkies into the spine. Inhale, straight legs, pivot to the front of your mat and shorten your stance. Inhale, curl back. Exhale, pyramid pose. Try to press through your left heel on the outer blade of your right foot. Think of your nose towards your left big toe driving the right hip forward. Three, two, one. Hands to the mat. Step your right foot back. Inhale, left leg goes up super high. And exhale for half pigeon. Wiggle, walk the right knee back. Again, option to come down a little bit to a more restful pigeon. 
using the exhale breath to soften your big muscle groups like your glutes, your hips, your lower back. Think of pressing down through the top of your right foot. Slowly start to walk yourself all the way back up. Instead of stepping back this time, you're going to roll onto your left hip, swing your right leg around, and shoot both legs forward. All right. We are going to bring the right knee in, the toe stay pointing forward. We're going to go for a twist. Hook your left elbow outside your right knee. Plant your right hand behind you. Flex your left foot. Imagine driving the heel forward. Great. Slowly start to unwind that and we'll switch. Right leg straight, left knee bend, the toes stay pointing forward. Hook your right elbow outside your left knee and plant your left hand behind you. Now you're pressing the elbow into the knee and the knee into the elbow. Open the chest up to the left. Slowly unwind yourself, extend both legs forward. Flex your feet, wiggle into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch your arms up and exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Keep the feet flexed the entire time. Growing a little bit longer with each inhale and exhale, folding more for three. Two. And one. Slowly roll yourself up. We're going to find a final meditative position, whatever that like might look like for you today. I usually do like to go all the way down onto my back in a traditional corpse pose shavasana. But like I mentioned, I have frost all underneath my mat. So I'm not going to do that today. Um, so I also invite you to take whatever's comfortable. If you'd prefer to meet me in the seats, on your knees, on your back. And then find a little stillness wherever you are. Seeing if you can release your muscles with each exhale. Give yourself permission to let go. Follow your breath in, and then follow your breath all the way back out.
when you're ready, bring a little awareness back to your body. First the fingers and toes. Hopefully they're not numb. <laughs> you can welcome in some bigger movements into the neck, the wrists, the ankles. If you're not already in seated, start to make your way there. Grow nice and tall through the crown of your head, stacking your vertebrae. Use an inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs to your sternum, sternum towards your thumbs. Full breath in. Full breath out. Bow your head towards your heart, honor your body, your practice, your space. Thank you so much for joining me today. From my heart to yours, namaste. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in beautiful Goreen, Cappadocia, Turkey, uh, and to see these hot air balloons over the valley. It's truly a once in a lifetime experience. I'm so glad I was able to share it with you and do some yoga as well. Uh, next week should be back to longer classes. I was a little selfish on this one as my fingers and toes are completely numb. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I will be releasing new videos every single Wednesday. Have a beautiful rest of your day.